Hello, this is the Balkan Architect and in this video I will show you all the different ways you can create dimensions in AutoCAD. But before we start, we need to check our object snaps, make sure you turn them on and if you don't have this object snap drop menu and button over here, you can open up this menu, find it, check it and then it will appear over here. Now, when our object snaps are all in order, we can start dimensioning. To start dimensioning, you need to type in the dim shortcut or basically short for dimension and now you're in the command you can dimension by hovering over an endpoint selecting it select a second endpoint and then choose the distance away from your drawing so this is basically the distance of the dimension you click hit escape to end the command and now you have your dimension another way to do a dimension is to do dim enter and then just come close and hover over an existing line you select it you pull out the dimension click here and place it it's basically the same but you didn't use the endpoints you use the line now this can create problems sometimes because you don't really have lines for example over here so I prefer to use this first method now, when you have drawn your dimension, you can select it and you can play with it, you can manipulate it. By using these grips that are down on your drawing, you can actually change the position of your dimension and what is it dimensioning. So I'm just going to place it back. And by using these upper grips, you can actually change the distance from your drawing to your dimension. And the third one, is this one here over your number now if you have something overlapping for example this line that's over your number and you can't really see it right you can select your dimension select this number and just move it aside now it's not overlapping anymore and you can use it I'll just delete this line and now let's continue dimensioning this drawing and we can use the dim continue for this so you just start the dimension command you find this continue option down you select it you select the dimension you want to continue and now you can see we're just continuing this dimension and adding new ones in the same line so this is an easy way to continue your dimension I'll just delete this now when you have to dimension some kind of a angle for example this is 90 degrees but let's say we need to present this with a dimension so I'm just going to start a dim command I'm going to find here angular and I'm just going to select this line and this line and now I can pull out and make sure to place to see how large this arc will be and now we have an angular dimension you can also dimension circles or arcs just start the dimension command again you come close to it and as you can see as long as you're in angular dimension like we were previ previously you can actually place the diameter you select once and then you can determine this distance I usually like to keep it close I'll just escape out of it and for arcs when you start the dimension you come close to an arc and you can see it starts like this and it creates actually a radius because you don't really have a full circle you only have an arc and when you place it and hit escape and that's how you dimension arcs now one quick trick for dimensions let's just create a new dimension maybe over here Dim. from here to here let's say and now let's say this doesn't really correspond to a number you would like to have maybe you want to have 444 so you just select this number you double click it and you type in the actual dimension you want I don't suggest you use this I don't suggest you use this all that often because it's really not good if you're if somebody tries to build this house but it can be useful for setting up some parameters or something like maybe I'll type in minimum 400 
or something like that. So you can actually change the number that's on your dimension. Okay, that's pretty much all the basic stuff you need to know about dimensioning in AutoCAD. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, comment and like this video and have a nice day.